Hello and welcome back to yet another DI question. This question is related to profit and loss, percentages, basically your ability to see how the numbers are moving. The original price of a computer was increased by X percent to reach its current price. So let us imagine a number line. This was its original price. It was increased by X percent. Increased by X percent. So we reached this point. Alina used a coupon that allowed her to purchase the computer at Y percent discount of the current price. So this is the current price. Now there was a Y percent discount. Now see the discount can be anything, right? Y percent. So say these are the various possibilities of Y percent, right? Was the price at which purchased the computer less than the original price of the computer? So what do we need to understand? Basically, this Y percent discount. Did this lead to this line, something that is still greater than original price, or something that is less than the original price? That is what we need to find out. Okay. X is equal to twelve and Y is less than twelve. So let us say that the uh, like the original price was 100 and say x is 12 percent so the current price is 112 rupees now if something is at 112 rupees and we need to bring it to 100 to check for our test that uh, this is the original price is it less than this or greater than this so there's a decrease of 12 on what 112 so what percentage this is now what i would suggest here do not try to solve this in your mind just open your calculator in a very super fast and efficient manner and do this thing, you'll get the value of 10.71%. So if you decrease, like if the discount is of 10.71%, then we are exactly back at 100, right? But what do we have about Y? Y is less than 12. So Y, 0, 12, and 10.71. Y is less than 12. So it can be here also, it can be here also. So we do not have a definite answer. This doesn't help us. So A and D both are out of the window. Y is greater than 9. Doesn't really help. Doesn't say anything to us about X. So means nothing. Option B cannot be the answer. Now moving between C and E. If we combine both. So Y is less than 12. But Y is also greater than 9. So this is 9 and this is greater than 9. What we had initially was Y is less than 12. This region. Now also what we have is Y is greater than 9. So effectively this region, like this green region that we have is our value. But again, 10.71 lies between this. So at some values, it will give a value less than 100. At some, it will give a value greater than 100. Because at exact 10.71, we were reaching back here. So if there's something greater than 10.71, we'd, I mean, we'd be on the either of the side. We do not actually need the exact numbers here. Just that idea that would be on the either of the side. So this eliminates C also and E is what our answer is. So this was a short, simple, sweet question. Not much calculation required. This was just one calculation where I highly recommend that you open your Calci and do not try to solve this in your mind. And once you have this value, you just simply need to check with these values where it falls. So yeah, pretty simple, easy in, easy out. Thanks. Hope this question helps.